Hello everybody. Today we start working on the canopy bubble. First step is to trim the plexiglass bubble. Actually I'm not sure if it's plexiglass or lexan, but it's some sort of acrylic plastic anyway, so I will call it plexiglass. Right, we start with trying to decide uh, what parts need to be trimmed off, because the, the plexiglass bubble, when we receive it from Vance, is, um, well, it should probably fit all models, I guess, and it doesn't matter if you build a tip-up or a, a slider, it's just one piece. I guess Vance just orders one type of uh, canopy bubble, and which is too big, <coughs> but at least it um, it'll fit. So we decide what to cut off, and of course, uh, if you cut off too much, then you're screwed. So again, you have to be careful there. First step is to determine the, the middle, and also where to uh, cut the um, part, the, the, the front part, the forward part from the aft part for the, uh, the slider. Uh, that called, cut is called the big cut, and it will be done in the, one of the next videos. Once we have decided where the middle is, we can uh, test it with the strip. It's a strip that goes uh, all the way to the back, and with that we can determine where the hole should go, the hole for the latch. We try to heat the uh, canopy, so we try to insulate it with a blanket and then uh, put a heater under it. They say that plexiglass is much more easier to process if it's uh, warmer, so that's how we did it. But actually we found out that it's uh, warm outside anyway, uh, we did this in, uh, in the middle of summer, so that's good. And even in Dutch summers, that's still warm enough for us to um, to cut the plexiglass without breaking it. So the heating, we did it a little bit, but we found out that it isn't really uh, necessary for us right now. Probably if we did this in the winter, that's probably a good idea. With everything measured, we can now test it with the canopy frame. So we put the canopy frame into the uh, bubble and see if well everything looks that it's fit. It's a little doubtful where to place it, although the canopy has a form, the canopy frame, and it should form towards the uh, the bubble. It's still hard to de exactly determine how far it should go forward or backward. And it's dangerous because if you make a mistake here, uh, it's not good. There are some markings on the canopy bubble, but they don't seem to be exactly right. So maybe it was better not to put them on there. Or make them exactly right. Uh, so we did a lot of a lot of measurements and a lot of trying, seeing if it uh, if it's okay. Of course, you don't want to screw this up because it, yeah, this is not a part that is uh, easily ordered, especially from the ship it oversee. So finally, we determined the exact position of where to drill. As you can see, we still put a heater under there, just to be sure, and uh, we drilled the hole for the latch for a small hole and uh, check it with the, uh, the canopy frame, but it didn't fit. So then we tried to uh, make it a little bit bigger, but it still didn't fit. So uh, yeah, we di did it very incrementally because we didn't want to make the hole too big. So we've got a reamer, and with the reamer we very gr gradually can uh, ream it up. We did it from both sides because of course a reamer uh, is uh, not uh, on the same uh, size on the inside and the outside. Until it's, uh, it was okay, and when it was okay, it, uh, it matched really nice. So then that is our fixed point, and uh, yeah, that kind of determines the rest. So you have to be careful that you do this uh, correctly. It should fit everywhere, and of course, canopy is a little bit wider, so uh, it will it had to have to form according to the frame later. And actually, the manual says that it will actually stress the frame a little bit outside, which is actually true, which is uh, well, strange that it happens because you wouldn't expect that. With that said, we can now start um, trimming roughly the, uh, the canopy, so we can um, we keep some very big error margins there, because we don't want to cut off too much, but uh, we can at least make it a little bit um, easier to handle, so all the uh, excess material can go away.
I use a normal grinder for that. Uh, and some protection because both ear protection and uh, also um, some breathing protection. I'm not sure if plexiglass is uh, very healthy once it's uh, evaporated, but uh, it's probably not. So, yeah, be careful there. And again, we use normal temperatures, so that's about um, 25, 27 centigrade, I guess. So it's warm weather. Checking the uh, manual and the drawings to see if we can find uh, yeah, more clues on how to, uh, to progress. But it's still, uh, it's, a, it's a puzzle. We worked on it all day. And uh, yeah, it's also a preparation. Because once you have done this, then you need to uh, prepare for the big cut. Because now you want uh, two halves, right? Uh, this is just the, the part covering the, um, the canopy frame. But the windshield, the forward windshield, should be separated. So that's what we're uh, trying to determine to where this should be done. A lot of discussion, a lot of checks. You have to be exactly right. So uh, so the, the, the hole is of course nice, the hole for the latch, because that's a fixed point, so that's easy. But then on the back you have to be very careful not to twist it or be off from the middle. Because then that would make your whole canopy crooked. It's probably not that precise. Uh, I guess you can do a lot with uh, covering it up with either uh, glass fiber, fiberglass or, or whatever. But yeah, it's better just to try to do it as good as possible. So I made some uh, plates to get the canopy inside because the canopy is wider than my uh, workbench. And this way I can uh, come work on the canopy. So now we uh, start taping it where we should, where we want to cut it. The plexiglass should stick a little bit over the uh, the fourth part of the, um, the canopy frame. I think it's about one eighth of an inch. So if they take that into account, and um, also taping. The bottom sides, so we can do uh, all the cutting. We will do that in the next video, and we will uh, working. We will be working on the big cut. Okay, continuing building my pie in the sky.